In this video, I'm going to show you how to host a blog on AWS S3 and use Route 53 for DNS. There are a couple of ways of creating a blog. You can use some of these services like Squarespace, Wix.com, Google Site, Blogger, WordPress, hosted services, or also you can host your own WordPress in a and, and publish your blog now which one is the easiest way so there are different ways and benefits to each different of approach but now today i'm going to show you one of the easiest way and you can do it for free when you create an aws account you get most of the service access for free for one year this is just three steps process you just need to create your aws account and then create an s3 bucket Upload your files, enable static hosting, and then configure your Route 53. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, first thing you have to go to the AWS console and go to storage, select S3 and create S3 bucket. Here you give it a name. It could be your domain name if you're going to use a domain name. And then select your bucket from the right hand side. You can see the details. If you scroll up a little bit and then you can go to the permissions and from permissions give all public access to your bucket and it will ask for confirmation if you have to uh, allow public access you have to give confirmation for that if you don't allow public access you won't be able to access this from the internet so once you do that you will be able to access this from the public internet now next is go to the properties of the S3 bucket and go to static web hosting and select the first option use this bucket to host a website in there you have to give the index document it could be your index.html page and save the settings after that your public your website is public and it's web hosting is enabled on that now you can access this site from the s3 bucket arn before do that you have to upload some html files just select upload files and then choose your html files i have created two files for testing purposes once the files are there you select all files and go to actions and then scroll down make them public you have to choose this every HTML file or whatever the objects you have to make them available publicly otherwise those objects won't be available now go to the properties static web hosting and then you find the URL just click on it it will open from a different browser and then you will be able to, you will be able to see your index page and your website over there so next we are going to create a DNS for that go to the route 53 from the network section of the AWS console and then create a hosted zone over there you have to give your domain name my in my case that is manju.la and then you can add some description over there then click on create hosted zones after you do that these two default entries will be created name services and SOA and then here you click new record and select simple hosting simple routing and then here you have to define your domain name so here if you want to add you can add some subdomain like blog.manju.la and in the next drop down you have to select alias for s3 website endpoint then after that you can select your s3 bucket from this and then you will select your S3 bucket. One thing you have to remember here, your bucket name has to match with your DNS name. In my case, it is manju.la, otherwise it won't do this mapping. So you were, once you type your DNS to the browser, you won't be, it won't route to the S3 bucket unless the names are same. So create records over there. Now you can see you have the new A record created here. So how DNS works, that, that is a topic for a different video as of now. You have your A record created. Next thing is that if you have a third party 
provider that you purchased your domain name you have to set your name servers from that provider's page to point your name servers to the AWS now in my case it is Namecheap I go to Namecheap and select my domain that's manju.la go to the settings page and then find the name servers section so you have currently it's Namecheap web hosting DNS so you have to select DNS custom DNS and then copy and paste all the four name service servers from the AWS so you have to copy one at a time and then paste it over there so do that for all the three other name servers and then it will take some time to propagate these name servers probably it could take half an hour or one hour maybe sometime it, it could take for up to 24 hours depends on the TTL as well I'll show you how to change the TTL from the settings now if you go to this domain name lookup service like MX toolbox or any other you can see which IP address is your domain is currently pointing to so it still is pointing to my old one and then I go to these settings and change my TTL to one minute but still it's going to the old one name cheap name cheap uh, DNS name servers so I would wait for a couple of hours and then come back and I'll check it out so this could change this could take some time so if you check your URL I think it is still going to the old website yeah it is going to the name cheap hosting space where I created this testing website so this is very common common issue in DNS if nothing is wrong most probably it is DNS okay now when I'm checking after a couple of hours I can see the new DNS new name servers are populating now if you type your URL now you can see it is going to the correct web page which I have created today and that's it for today and thank you for watching